Mina-san, konnichiwa. This is David. And Mina. And this afternoon, we are opening up the HG Build Fighters Cathedral Gundam. Ooh. Yeah, this is a P Bandai release. Um, it is a 1 144 um, HG, um, and it is from Build Fighters, I believe, Ace. So this is not in the show. No, this is not at all in the show. Okay. Um, this does, however, um, if you read the comic, it um, builds on the story of... Um, what, uh, Inosa, uh, Inosa Junior's um, Denial Gundam, okay. I believe. Um, there's there's some stories there with um, Tatsuya Yuki, the um, the Maiji. Right. Um, and basically, they have they share similar origin. Um. Anyway, I'm gonna pop this open. It's a P band I released, so it doesn't really have box art. Um, it just is what it is. Some interesting sandy color. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Okay. Yeah, Zero Cool is going to tell you a little bit about it too, apparently. Okay, so this is actually, um, this kit is a modified Denial Gundam. So if you've seen the Denial Gundam, if you put it together, it's very similar. There are really only a few different parts. I think the change in color is a big deal. The color is a huge deal. Also, it has different wings um, and skirts and things. So it is. it does have different parts. You're not wasting your money or anything. No. Okay, so this has the, the double beam saber, the short beam saber and the long beam saber that some of the Bill Fighters kits have. Um, we have... I don't think I've ever seen this color before. It's sort of a grayish brown. No, it's a, it's a different shade of sand. <laughs> yeah, it's a, it's a sandy color. And then we have our big white panels here. I gotta be honest, I'm really excited to see this put together. Yeah, me too, actually. Um, but, um, I mean, I also, I'm a sucker for bow and arrows. So. Okay. We got some of our frame pieces here. These are pretty much identical. Um, And who pilots this? You said Junior pilot? Um, you know, actually, I can't remember. Mm. Um, I only skimmed the manga. Hey, we have our manga. cherry red here for hey. our centerpieces. It might be... Oh, um... Sumiya Sukiya... Suki. Uh, all right. Oh, that's a pretty, pretty um, stand. That looks like the um, the one for the, whatchamacallit, the portent. Yep. I like those little mini stands that come with. Those. I do. I really wish all of them came with them. <clears throat> Agreed. I guess then Bandai wouldn't sell as many action bases. Well, an action base does something else, so. Yeah. Oh, there's so, so there's some wing plates, that sort of thing. Um, it looks like skirts and shields. Now here's our gold. This is really where it stands out from the others. This is um, a pretty high co quality for an HG gold. It is injected gold. It is not plated. Mm. It's lovely stuff. You know, they had an injection gold before. Yeah. It was really ugly, honestly. Yeah, it was the type that they used for like SDs and stuff. They use it in SDs, and I want to say it was in like the old unicorn, uh, the nightmare, the uh, banshee. Oh, banshee, the banshee nord. Yeah. Yes, this yes. Is, this is a nicer gold than what's in the banshee. Nord. It's also in the old yakushiki. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That was which is great. ugly. Yeah. Not like the new one. Yeah, the new yakushiki is beautiful. Okay, there's our V fin, which is nice and big. It actually is reminiscent of like a Gundam wing style kit. Yeah. And then we have some more skirt pieces and arms. Oh, that fell down. That was an existing one. And we've got our poly caps. We have, looks like guns of sorts. I know that this one has a very big gun that is part of its, um, bow and arrow assembly. <laughs> he has a gun as a part of his bow and arrow. Sure. Yeah. And then we have the rest of our panels here and our feet and things like that. 
As far as stickers go, it, it only has a few. Uh, I'm a little bit wary of them though because they are there to accent and add gray pieces to things. I always wish that they would just do those, but we'll see how that goes. The eyes are a pretty blue. They're not, yeah, that's not a very common color for Gundam eyes. Well, and I think it's gonna look really gorgeous surrounded by the golds and whites. Yeah, okay, now let's see what our manual just looks like children. here. Okay, we've got some nice full color work here to show you how the um, the backpack and the bow and arrow whole thing works. And then we've got our standard build here. It's actually a little bit padded because of the, um, the stand. They actually tell you how to put the stand together. Um, so here's a funny one. On the back here, the, um, they are not using the actual kit for the photos. These are heavily painted, um, really well done gold. That is not what the kit looks like. No. <laughs> That's a shame. But it's showing that it's basically a denial with the cathedral booster, which is lovely, but um, it does not have any tips. But then again, I don't think that any of the P-Bandai kits have those. I really like them. I think they're adorable. But um, this is already a heavily modified kit. So anyway, Here's our, um, here's our Cathedral Gundam. So if they wanted to try to find the manga, how would they go about doing that? Because it's a good manga. You can, um, you can buy Gundam Ace. Um, I don't think that there's been an official translation of it. Mm. Um, I think it's only in Japanese, but I, I might be, I might be mistaken. I don't know. And Ace is a series of comics. Is there Correct. a way to get just the ones that they're looking for? Um... Oh, no, actually, I don't think there is, okay. um, because this is uh, so the way that these work is um, the Gund Gundam Ace is actually a magazine. Gundam A or Build Fighters Ace is um, a sub manga within it, and um, the mangas that they come in are actually really big. Um, if you haven't seen them, here I'll show you what one of them looks like, just so you have an idea. <laughs> so this is what they look like. They're about seven hundred pages of all kinds of manga. Um, and they've got like posters and shit in there. They're actually really cool little magazines. Little, that's the dumbest word I could ever use. <laughs> they're, they're not little, they're very no. big. And basically it's like a month's worth of entertainment all in one magazine. Um, they're, they're pretty cheap too. I think they're 800 yen, so about $7, $6, something like right. that. Um, but and there's there's manga of all flavor. Correct. You they pretty much have one thing of ev every major Gundam series. Like there's a lot of UC Gundam stories. Um, there's Wing. There's G Gundam. That was surprising. Yeah. There's um there's Build Fighters. The, the a whole bunch of stuff is in there. Um, so you know if you're a fan of whatever Gundam, um, you can probably find a side story in there. And basically there's like. 20 of them or some absurd shit like that the whole bunch of them and you just follow the one that you like every month or ones that you like every month right. so there's something for everyone um but that's it um there's the cathedral we're gonna put this together and do a review of it later matane matane